Hey everybody, it's Steve from Asian Boss. As you may know, China is a popular destination for preseason college and NBA basketball games. But if you remember a little while back, there was a scandal involving three UCLA basketball players that got arrested for shoplifting in China. Eventually, they were released after the US President Trump supposedly got him out. But there's an ongoing dispute as to the extent of the role that he played in securing their release. The question is, how serious of an offense is shoplifting in China and how do ordinary Chinese people feel about this incident? Well, our Asian boss reporter hit the streets of Shanghai to find out. <笑>那么有钱还偷东西就是脑子里面的一根筋错掉了 呃，美国公民素质或怎么地？根据美国总统特朗普说，那些运动员本来可能因为偷窃在中国要关五到十年。你觉得入店行窃在中国是一种多严重的犯罪？我觉得呃，偷窃这种罪行的话，至少他没有
，我觉得世界就这么世界就是这么运行的。因为如果有人很有人脉，很有什么，他很容易得到一些一些特权。如果由你们来决定，你们觉得他们应该为自己的所作所为付出怎么样的代价呢？按照法律程序吧。对，毕竟是我觉得现在中国也算是个法治国家吧，应该做什么事情都是应该用法律来规制。这个很简单嘛。你犯了什么罪，该付出什么代价，就是什么代价。嗯，我觉得应该公开道歉，然后就是归还财物啊什么的。如果我来决定，首先罚款肯定是要的。比如说他们偷了多少、偷了多少东西，那肯定是我会觉得他们可能要加倍的罚款这样子，然后再教育一下，被关个关个一两个星期吧，我觉得差不多的。首先让他们意识到他们这样是不对的吧，然后。嗯，受到教育啊，或者是一点惩戒之后，然后再考虑，然后让他们再回国啊什么的，不能就是立马就让他们走。中国喜欢篮球，大家都知道嘛？你觉得这次事件会怎么样影响到美国篮球运动员在中国人心中的形象？我觉得倒影响谈不上吧。我觉得该关注什么？呃 ，NBA 啊，还是关注什么美国的一些球星啊？我觉得这是个别的一个事件，应该会影响吧？就觉得形象没有那么高大了，不能就是说以偏概全嘛，就是说因为一个人的行为而影响其他所有的人员在中国，呃，影响力嘛。Of course, China will be one of many Asian countries we'll be covering in the future, so be sure to subscribe to Asian Boss if you're curious to find out what's really going on in Asia. You'll get the most authentic insight into the latest news and cultural trends from all over Asia. I'm Steve from Asian Boss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.